Mapping underserved communities to improve water access and equity. In Ghana, the urban population has more than tripled over the last three decades. This leaves the expansion of water infrastructure lagging behind. In Accra, less than half of households have access to piped water in their home. Low-income households are hit hardest, often unable to afford the connection fees. But there's hope. Subsidizing water connections for vulnerable households can relieve financial barriers to water access. Ghana Water Limited is the majority provider of water utility services in Ghana. They are implementing water connection subsidies in low-income urban communities. Since 2001, Ghana Water Limited subsidized over 16,000 piped connections in Accra. Because <laughs> But a question remains. How can utilities reach the most vulnerable? To answer these questions, it is crucial to first pinpoint where low-income households live. However, there is no comprehensive map of underserved communities in Accra. Without a map, many remain invisible. USAID Urban Wash, in partnership with Ghana Water Limited's Low Income Customer Support Unit, is mapping vulnerable communities. Mapping begins with community engagement, building trust, and grasping local dynamics. I create the relationship with the community leadership. You have to know the cultural and religious background of the people. And so the, the, the process always have to make me, them feel towards me that um, this is somebody who really want to help us. At every community, USAID connects with leaders to gain permission and knowledge of the area's boundaries. These borders are shaped by community identity, local knowledge, shared culture, and social networks. Data collectors then trace boundaries on the ground using GPS, capturing waypoints to ensure precision. We are expected to go around the boundary and turn right back to where we start, and we have to stop where we start. So then we have a complete boundary shape of community. Mapping is more than just drawing lines. It empowers communities to advocate for service provision where none currently exists. It is the first step for service providers to identify service gaps. So the importance of boundary mapping is one for resource allocation. You know, when you understand the boundary, it's easier for you to understand which area are most in need of the help or the benefits of wash um, activity. Another, imp another um, reason is to be able to target the vulnerable population within a community. USAID has mapped 38 vulnerable communities in Accra, including 298,000 people. This data empowers Ghana Water Limited to strategically plan future investments, including new water lines and household connection subsidies. Mapping is not the end goal, but the beginning of a journey towards water equity.